Hi all, you are watching Simulin tutorial and today we are going to see multi-level state machine. So let's get started. So in this model, I have given sine wave as input to this chart and there are two outputs coming from this chart that is one output and I is counts for processing reason. Okay, so let's have a look inside this chart. Okay, so what multi-level state machine is? So a state can contain lower level states within it. So super states is a parent state containing other states. So this off and this on both are parent states and they are super states in this chart. Then substates. So child states contained by parents are called substates. So here the default and before switch are child states that is substrate so a child can be active only if its parent is active so in this case if this off state is active then only this default or before switch state can be active and same for this on state so substrates add hierarchy to your model. There is no limitation on the number of levels you can form in chart hierarchy. Okay. So transitions can be made either within one level of hierarchy that is from off to on this transition. Okay. Or across different levels of state hierarchy. It is also referred to as super transition. So if there is transition from before switch to directly to this on state it will be a super transition so in this example there are two parent states that is on and off state okay so when it is off the output is zero when it is on output is one so when this off state becomes active by default its default state also becomes active now for this default state the entry action is i equal to zero now if the input is greater than zero it will go to before switch state and it will start incrementing by this i is equal to i plus one and it will count up to 40 so once it reaches its threshold of 40 it goes to this on state and then the output becomes 1 by default this default state becomes active so i equal to 0 now as long as the input is greater than 0 this will remain in default state but once the input goes below 0 it will start counting up up to 40 once it reaches the threshold of 40 it switches back to state off so the basic idea of this design is that before switching states the criteria should match at least for 40 times and then only it should switch to its desired state okay so let's simulate this model so for this model the simulation time is 10 seconds and i have kept it as fixed step and the step size is 0 0.01 so after each 0 0.01 step the count will increment okay so let's simulate this model so let's see if we are getting the desired output so by default it will be off state so my output will be zero since the input is greater than zero this counter will start incrementing up to 40 it reaches 40 and state on becomes active so the output is one okay now here the input is less than zero so again it starts counting up to 40 but even though input is less than zero and we haven't reached 
the count of 40, the output is still 1 since the on state is active. Now this reaches to 40 and the execution goes to off state and output is 0. And again when input is greater than 0, it starts counting up to 40. So we wait for input condition to be true for at least 40 times to switch its state. So we are getting the desired output. So what are the advantages of multi-level state hierarchy? So simplified state transition diagram for model and unify common actions and condition. So this default and before switch are common actions and conditions for both states. So it simplifies the diagram and unifies common actions and conditions. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning.